a very good morning to all of you. Good morning, sir. Please note, don't take too much time. Anyway, now we are coming to Vistas. Take the page number. We are going to back. Page number 56, the sixth lesson on the face of it. On the face of it. It is a play written by Susan Hill. Very uh, good play which gives you a moral boost, moral support, or a great value to be developed in each one's life, each one's life. You see, in all the places, nowadays we hear a point that positive thinking, positive approach, it's a common term that is heard amidst us. When you have some negative impact, try to find out a positive energy from that or look into that negativism with a positive outlook. There you will be the winner. That is what it is told. For example, in the previous exams, I lost a mark. I could not present the paper well. It, is a neg it has a negative impact. It can be taken in two ways. You can become desperate, get lost. I have studied a lot. I had spent so much time, but I could not utilize it properly. I could not earn good marks, so I will not study now. Students, please switch on the videos. Please switch on the videos. So that is a negative approach. In such approach, you are going down where from you have fallen down. You will not be able to come up. But the second approach you see, you have lost the marks, you have lost the exams, you are thinking, I have studied this many hours. Still, I could attempt only this much. Therefore, there is a need of preparation more and more. For the next test, I will prepare more and I will score. I will show an improvement. You see, from the negative impact you have accumulated, you have amassed, you have collected a positive energy. Positive energy. Very often we people think about our drawbacks. Drawbacks. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. We are not thinking about our positive impulses, positive qualities, positive energies. Suppose you have a cycle. Aditya, you have a cycle. Grishma has a scooter. 
electric scooter because she has no license so aditya is crying making a complaint to himself that i don't have a scooter at the same time you can think i have a cycle i possess a cycle with the cycle i can do much better today in the malayalam anorama newspaper i had see i saw a picture three people from chalakudi went to manali by cycle by cycle among them one was an a cancer patient you see that is a positive energy i can do it if you are thinking if you are thinking about our negative things we will not succeed we will not grow so develop a positive approach to our life that is what this lesson on the face of it present before us okay with this introduction we can go to the lesson straight not only for examination take this lesson uh, into your life also okay here in this story there are three people there are three people an old man who has some missing in his physical body that we will see in the lesson that is why i did not say now there is a boy who has some deformity on his body and there is a mother these three people are there and when we go across the story when we travel across the story try to patch up yourselves into the story try to find out yourself who you are who you are so this is very important this is very important so mr lamb's garden scene 1 mr lamb's garden that is a scene one garden when i say lamb's garden do you remember any other garden any one of you in literature do you remember any other garden here it is lamb's garden sania again to sania gayatri do you remember any other garden ah achut eden garden that's okay that is garden but i am talking about uh, the physical literature that is great literature eden garden we are talking when we are talking about a literature you have to travel to the liter literature have you studied any other garden grishma because above you meghna is ready to tell the answer because please tell me the answer first meghna any other garden you you know it but you cannot uh, correlate have you ever studied a giant's garden have you studied giant's garden no selfish giant huh the selfish yeah. giant a uh, selfish giant written by written by punya that also you feel it the great mm-hmm. novelist by his name mm-hmm. there is an award pulu there is an award by his name oscar wilde the uh, the famous anyway it is good this is what is called correlation 
you have to relate one part with the another selfish giant of oscar wilde michael i will kick you to us ah uh, okay uh. so oscar wilde selfish giant where there was a garden for the giant and the children were coming there to play in the garden but the giant was very selfish he did not permit the children to enter the garden and he kept a board there trespassers will be prosecuted very famous novel of children so here it is lamb's garden here it is not selfish so contradiction is here this is the way of how to study suppose if anyone is going for ba literature ba english or ma english you remember this kind of things how to learn this kind of things i think at least one of you will be going for ba english <laughs> among 60 70 engineers and doctors i hope there will be one with literature for that one i am saying i don't know for that one i am saying when i read a lamb's garden all on a sudden i remember the giant's garden so if you know the story of giant's garden when we go across this story simultaneously you should compare both you should compare both when i read lamb's garden in your brain the flashback should be giant's garden this is the way how to learn literature you may study maths you may study physics you may study biology you may study chemistry you may study applied mathematics you may study applied physics you may study political science you may study economics you may study accountancy you may study fashion studies you may study home science you may study psychology there you will study but here that study is totally different you have to study with uh, unknown materials the content of the story is content of literature is in the air in your brain in imagination you have to make the stories the other things we say physical sciences we you are dealing with the phys physical things here there is no physical thing only in imagination so such kind of thoughts to be developed differently okay that mr lamb's garden there is the occasional sound of bird song chirping of birds and of tree leaves rustling there is footsteps there is a small boy there is footsteps are heard as he walks slowly and tentatively through the long grass he pauses then walks on again because he enters the garden in a hiding way so he takes two three steps then pauses and looks all around see confirms that nobody is there then he proceeds he comes round a screen of bushes so that when mr lamb speaks to him he is close at hand and there he is startled so in a hiding way there he walks in the garden all on a sudden he, he he reaches in front of mr lamb who was the owner of the plot so there he got frightened this is the scene opening scene the curtain is raised drama starts okay now let us see now 
Mr. Lamb. Mind the apples. Take care of the apples. My dear little boy, when you walk, don't crush the apples with your feet. That's the meaning. Mind the apples. Dari. What? Who is that? Who is there? Mr. Lamb. Lamb is my name. My name is Lamb. Mind the apples, boy. My dear boy. Mind the apples. Crab apples, those are. Minachi. Crab apples, those are. You see. Crab apples. He says, what is the meaning of crab apples, those are? What is the meaning? Not good apples. Not good apples. Here, the writer uses the word crab apples. They are. You see, this is a symbolic sentence. We people are handicapped. Crab apples, deformed apples, not well-grown apples. Some kind of defects are there. That is the inner meaning of the sentence, crab apples are there. If a person who do not, does not know literature, he will think, ah, broken apples, rotten apples. It is not that. Crab apples are the apples which have some physical deformity, maybe in its shape, maybe in its growth. Symbolically, it points out, I am a handicapped man. You are a handicapped person. Crab apples are there. This is the connotation, what I am saying. Connotation. This is for you, not for the exams. So, crab apples, those are wind falls in the long grass. Wind falls them in the long grass. You could trip. You can have a trip in my garden. You can freely walk in my garden. The first dialogue itself contradicts our Oscar Wilde. Where is Punya? In the first set itself, it contradicts Oscar Wilde. There the giant was selfish. You told selfish giant, isn't it? The giant was selfish. He did not permit anyone to enter the garden. Here Mr. Lamb says, you can make a picnic. Freely, joyfully into my garden. You see, in this way, you have to read the uh, literature. Dari, I, there, I thought this was an empty place. Sorry, I thought nobody is here. I thought it is an empty place. I did not know there was anybody here. Same meaning, casual dialogues. I never thought of some, uh, somebody sitting here. Mr. Lamb, that's all right. No problem. In our language, no problem. That's all right. I'm here. I am here. What are you afraid of? Sometimes I say, isn't it? I am here with you. Why are you afraid? Mr. Lamb says, I'm here. Why are you afraid of, my dear boy? That's all right. No problem. Sneha, can you follow me? Okay. Are you in a comfortable position? Okay. 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 Dari, I thought it was empty. An empty house. Mr. Lamb, so it is. You think that it is an empty house? Really, it is an empty house. You see how... The, how Mr. Lamb is replying to the boy. 
you think it is empty no problem this house is empty since i am out here in the garden you see when i sit inside the house house is not empty now i am out of the house i am sitting in the garden so what you said is correct house is empty as far as i am sitting in the garden my house is empty it is empty until i go back inside it is empty so if you put a comma there it is empty comma so the meaning is very clear it is empty until i go back inside in the meantime i am out here and likely to stop a day like this beautiful day not a day to be in toes a pleasant day to enjoy the day i should not sit inside the house that is why i came out of my house dirty afraid i have got to go in another way i have to go now i thought the garden is empty and i could run here and there freely now you are here so my plan is broken i cannot fulfill my plan so i must go out mr lamb not on my account you should go don't go out of the garden because of me you see if i am not suitable to you i am ready to go away from here you can play here freely mr lamb says it is his own uh, garden and when berry says that he want to go out because of the presence of mr lamb the own of the lamb uh, own of the garden says no 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 you shall not go you should enjoy this garden you should play here if i am a disturbance for you i shall move from here i don't mind who comes into the garden i don't mind who is coming let all come that is my uh, uh, generous mind is seen there you see a generous mind the generous mind of mr lamb let all come to my garden i don't see the triple c what is a triple c last year i told you what are, what are the trip, what is the meaning of triple c last year i told you during the time of nelson mandela hmm triple c anyone remembers year before last oh you did not study nelson mandela you have Sir, studied and eh? ah very good very good caste creed and color color caste creed triple c apartheid untouchability based on triple c color caste creed racialism means single word you see i don't mind let the black people come let the white people come let the children come let the youth come let the old day old people come i don't mind the gate is always open to you underline selfish giant said the gate is closed trespassers will be prosecuted here he says my gate is open to you all only only you climb the garden wall you see underline only you you doubted my generosity you doubted my minds you could not see my minds 
So what did you do? You, you climbed up on the wall and entered the garden while the gates were open. Very angry. Mm -hmm. Were you watching me? That means you are watching me. Mr. Lamb, no, I saw you. No, I saw you. Great difference in the meaning. You see, great difference in the meaning. You see, Derry told you were watching me. You were watching me. You were watching me. It was correct. Sitting inside the garden, Mr. Lamb was watching him. How he is climbing, how he is getting down, how he is moving forward, each and every step. Mr. Lamb was watching. But to his sentence, Lamb replied, I was not watching. I was not watching. You see, I was not watching. But, but, sorry, not but, instead, instead, I saw you. I saw you. You see, what is the difference between watching and saw, seeing? Anyone can say? What is the difference? Because he told you are watching me. Instead, he said, I saw you. What is the difference between this term? Meaning? Anyone can say? Can anyone? Uh, watching is purposefully looking at him. Ah, watching means knowingly. Consciously, one person is doing. So means casually we see. Very good, Michael. So I can promote you to hmm, US, isn't it? Okay. So watching consciously, willfully, knowingly look. Knowingly, look. See means casually come at the sight. This is impassive, another term. So is impassive. Sorry, 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 passive. So is passive. Watching is active. Active. Here you remember correlation. Do you remember anything when I tell this? Do you remember anything in English? Active voice, passive voice. You see how we relate everything in a single string. So is passive, watching is active. When I say active and passive, a good student of English should remember, oh, there is active voice and passive voice. This is what is called a correlating study. Correlation, correlation. Okay, come to the point. So, you were watching me, Mr. Lamb, I saw you, underline were watching me, underline, so you. But the gates, gate is open. All welcome. You are welcome. I sit here. I like sitting. Same thing is repeated. Dari, I had not come to steal anything. You have misunderstood me, I think. You have misunderstood me. You think that 
I have come to this garden to steal something. You see how the things are going on. Mr. Lamb, what did you say? <laughs> I thought you have come here, you had come here to steal something. No, 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 no. The young lads steal. That is the natural habit of little children. Whatever they see, if they see an apple on the floor, on the ground, they may take it. It is not stealing. It is natural. You see, when you are, while you are walking along the road, it is a season of mangoes. On the right, road said there will be mango trees and very beautiful mangoes are hanging there. What will you do? You will take a stone and you will throw it. Am I right? You may not need a mango, but it was the natural instinct of a child to throw. You threw a stone, mango did not fall, but you will go ahead. It's a natural instinct. Don't go through uh, and throw mangoes in somebody's plot. Now, Joseph sir told it is a natural instinct. So I throw. No, 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 don't do it. Just I say. So here you see the young lads steal. They steal scrumb. They, they scrum the apples. You are not so young. You see, a positive dose is given to him. Little children come and steal apples. They may crumb, they may destroy the apples. But I know, Derry, you are not lit, a little child. You are a youth. You see, a positive dose is given to him. You are not a child. You are a mature boy. Dari, I just want to come in into the garden. No, no, no. I don't have any idea. I wanted to come in the garden just to come in the garden. Mr. Lamb, so you did. You wanted to enter the garden. You entered the garden. So you did. Here we are then. What is the problem? Here you and I. Here we are. Dari, you don't know who I am. Underline. Dari. Dari says, Mr. Lamb, Mr. Good Old Man, you don't know who am I. Mr. Lamb, a boy. 13 or 14 years old. See, that's all. You are a boy of 13 or 14 years old. Dari, 14. I am 14 years old. But I have got to go now. Goodbye. I am 14 years old. Your calculation is correct. Your calculation is correct. But now I have to go. Mr. Lamb, nothing to be afraid of. Just a garden. Just me. Why are you running away from my garden? This is a simple garden. I am a simple man. I am sitting here. I do not want to disturb you. Very, but I am not. I am not afraid. You say that I am going because I am afraid of you. <laughs> what do you think of me? You don't know who, who am I. I am not afraid. I am not afraid of you. People are afraid of me. Underline. I am not afraid. People are afraid of me. When I say, when I read this, I casually remember one thing. Suppose, I don't know about you, in the village boys and girls, uh, village boys and girls, when we were studying in, the, in your age, 
in the high schools and all these things. Sometimes we may make some quarrels in between. Friends, quarrels in between friends. And we won't talk one or two days. Clear. Sometimes a simple, simple fight there may happen between the boys. So the headmaster would call or class teacher would call. What happened? So first answer, teacher, I don't, I have no problem. He is quarreling with me. So the teacher may ask, Josie, what is your problem? Teacher, I have no problem. He has problem with me. <laughs> Clear. By that, the quarrel is over. Both of them have no quarrel. So that a head teacher will say, headmaster will say, shake your hands, go ahead. Problem is solved. So here, Mr. Lamb says, I think you are afraid of me in the garden. That is where you are going. So the boy says, what do you think of me? You don't know who am I. I am the Nero. Ne I am the Nimrods of Mala. Eh? I am the Nimrod of Mala. Who is Nimrod? Nimrod was the mightiest man in the ancient times. Mightiest man. Superman. Huh. But we also will say, Mama says, Achut, Mama says in the hall there is a cobra. Uh, Achut will go and stand in front of the hall with a stick. I am not afraid of cobra. <laughs> I am not afraid of cobra. If the cobra comes, I will beat it. When the cobra comes, within seconds, Achut might have reached the coaching. Still, Achud will say, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Here, Dari says, I am not afraid of you. People are afraid of me. You see, it has greater meaning. It has greater meaning. Mr. Lamb, why should that be? Why should that be? Are you Ad Anthony? Are you Ripper? Ripper? There was a killer, Ripper, who beats on the head, isn't it? Are you Ripper? That is why people are afraid of you. What's the reason? Derry says, everyone is afraid of me. It doesn't matter who they are or what they say or how they look. There is no difference whether they are Nimrods, whether they are Hercules, whether they are Gandhis, whether they are uh, Air, Air Force uh, military marshals, captains, whoever may be. No difference. All are afraid of me. How they Pretend I know, I can see. Mr. Lamb, see, you said you can see. See what? Dari, what they think. Dari says he has a sixth sense. Eh? Dari says he has a sixth sense. He says he can read the mind of others. Mr. Lamb, what do they think then? Tell me what the people think of you. Derry, you think here is a boy. You think here is a boy. 
you look at me and then you see my face and you think that is bad and you think you see now you said here is a boy here is a boy now you look at me then you will think you see great philosophical thought is there a gadget of philosophy is brought there you said i'm a boy now you look at me then you will begin to think of me then you will say that is bad that is a terrible thing you will make a comments about me you are bad you are a terrible being that is the ugliest thing i ever saw you see you will make these comments about me which are the comments you are bad you are the ugliest thing in the world i have ever seen and you are a fearful thing terrible thing horrible thing poor boy poor boy but i am not not poor under neath you are a fight then you will say poor boy but you are not saying that correctly under neath of your mind you are afraid of me anybody would be they are afraid of me see broken broken dialogues anybody you are whoever you are full stop what is the full form whoever you are you are afraid of me i am i am then tell tell about myself i am when i look in the mirror and see it i am afraid of me you see when i look to myself very great philosophy is here when i look to myself i am afraid of me then what about you you see great question when i look on the mirror when i see myself in the mirror i feel afraid this is the same thing to the other people here you see how the boy see negativity about himself negativism is there in the boy dari is a symbol of negativism mr lamb no not the whole of you not of you you see the great positive lamb is coming there my dear boy what did you say you are bad you are horrible no the whole part of your body is not horrible you are not horrible you are not bad from your feet to the hair no only your face is deformed the other parts of the body is okay attractive handsome in the beginning i told you we may have one or two drawbacks in the name of the drawbacks we negate all the positive qualities we negate negate all the positive qualities Some, sometimes you are complex maybe little black and when you have, but you have a lot of number of good qualities you are you have good intelligence you have a good sportsman spirit you have a you are a good athlete you have good writing skills 
you have a good character you have a generous mind you are uh, hard working sincerely many many good qualities you will have but you look at another person who has white very good white complex i don't say good white complex then you began to come by her black and white and you judged black is not good then you judged yourself as you are not good you see a great philosophy is here when you have 99 positive qualities and one negative quality i won't say negative i have one drawback you are looking at that one drawback and you are forgetting all your 99 good qualities mr lamb says forget that think about your 99 positive qualities automatically the negative also will become positive negative will also become positive you see great philosophy is here put into your life know the whole of you is bad only a part there is yes what you said is correct there is a pause with the lamp later on when it is a bit cooler i will get the ladder and a stick and pull down those crab apples now climate is not that much cool this hot when it becomes a little cooler i will bring the ladder and we will go and pluck the crab apples what does it mean you are in great emotions you see connotation you are dirty now you are in great emotions if i speak anything to you you will not hear after some time when you cool down i will take you to the ladder i will take you to the ladder i will change you i will show you the crab apples in you and that we will pluck it out and you will have an attractive personality he told when it is cooler i will bring a ladder and we will have some crab apples they are ripe for it i make jelly i make jam it is good time it is a good time of year september look at them orange and golden that is magic fruit i often say but it is best picked and made into jelly you could give me a hand you could give me a help you see how mr lamb made friendship with dairy mr lamb put forward a physical situation and invited dairy to help him so this is the way how he is changing the mind of dairy a positive approach the rest we will see tomorrow okay in the next class okay thank you i end the class thank you sir